Welcome to Trade Doc, the Theta Options Trader, where we recap today's close, look at the futures, and scan our ETF watch list to spot opportunity. Today is Tuesday, December 20th, 2016, about 7.30 p.m. And the markets today, they closed all green, with the Dow up about a half percent to 19,974, about $26 away from the 20,000 mark. S&P up a quarter percent. The Russell led the way almost up a, half, a full percent. Um, taking a look at the futures. The ES, the NASDAQ, up a slightly. Russell's down slightly. And the Dow is up slightly. Um, Bonds are still down. The VIX is up. Crude oil is up about a half percent. Natural gas actually coming up in the after hours. About one and a half percent. Gold pretty much unchanged. Silver came down a quarter percent. Uh, copper still 250. British pound 123.9. 124. And the peso under nickel the euro is 104.4 so it came up up a hair you look at the charts is oil and we put a short position on oil today I think it's exhausted its move making sure it doesn't move up beyond uh, higher than that trend line you should see some more downward movement for oil the oil explorers um, same thing, no change, no difference here. I believe that's going to come down. Looks like it came up the f beginning of the morning and uh, it closed down the afternoon session. So, Oil Explorers looks like it's still a good short. Here's a uh, natural gas and it actually hit our target. So, with that, um, we're going to put close out this position. So, closing out position on natural gas, we got a good profit on the short. Uh, gold broke below this trend line, so we're not looking to put any position on it until it stabilizes. It might be some more downward movement. Um, gold miners, on the other hand, is they're maintaining. Uh, came up, actually down in the afternoon session I mean the after hour session but it closed up pretty good during the during the regular day session so if anything um, picking up gold miners before the gold ex uh, before the gold price itself it is silver and it came up above this channel trend line now it's on the bottom of it I guess so could be a reversal but um, for the precious metals we gotta see some um, something happen for the price to get ramped up energy sector came down about a quarter percent and we're still short on it it's still below its 20 day moving average we can see this follow follow that downward movement XLU was short on it. Looks like it came up just a tenth of a percent, and and on very low volume. So this is no problem to just to, to watch this come down. I believe I have this area where our uh, target zone is. It is industrial sector after that big move up. I'm still short on it. I actually broke above its 20 day moving average very low volume though so we're gonna maintain our short on it because things can't do that forever this material sector looks like it hit this support level and uh, I'm not sure if it's maintaining or not but it's still below this 20 day moving average uh, I can add a trend line here and make sure it doesn't break this it looks like it might have so if there is a profit on it probably take it off 
but you can see that move down a little bit more. Um, healthcare sector, I actually got scared and closed it in the beginning of the morning, not realizing that it would have, it, it just kept on moving down. So right now, no position in healthcare. I was short healthcare. Now we have no position on it. So I just do have the. I should put this on. As no position, I closed just because I had a little bit of profit from yesterday. I didn't want that to run away. Is re, uh, real estate <clears throat> had a big pop in the morning, and we did close it the day before. So real estate looks like it might keep traveling this this is trend line going higher. There's home builders and they're right at that about to breach that trend line, but it's still below its 20 day moving average. So we can see this come back down. I believe it's still gonna come back down. Uh retails looks like it broke above this trend line. So for retailers Let's take it's gonna it'll take a break and then we can uh close out our short position on it. Financials they just keep on ramping up and uh if it breaches this this uh resistance of twenty three seventy six then we're just gonna have to go along on it, take all those losses. But uh we've been short for a while with financials. I'm sure they're gonna take a break because uh, as far as loans and stuff it's not happening anytime soon and for the S&P looks like it breached this here and I'm gonna end up breaking even on it I'm not going long S&P I still believe that there's still some movement on the downside before the year ends and here's the Dow Put a mark for the all-time high, which is 19. I mean, 199.83. This is for the DIA, and uh, looking to go short sooner than later. Nasdaq got its roof here at 120.83. Move working on this wedge, but still got some upward movement. <coughs> Mr. Russell kind of ran away from us. Still believe that it could, it still has movement to come down on it. Emerging markets still getting smashed, but with this pop here, I like to close this position just because uh, it's profitable and we want to keep all those gains. Yeah, definitely. It's Japan working this wedge here. It was up a tenth of a percent. So not too much happening there. China just keeps getting smashed. And pretty good to put another buy signal on this one. Add a little bit more to China. I trade the triple leverage yin and the yang. Real easy to remember. India still moving down. Reach this line. We have no position on it. I'd rather be long than short India. Russia we got a good short on it. Kind of like popped up during the day. Don't know if it's trying to, you know, normally when it breaches these trend lines, I close out the position, but gonna hold on to that short for Russia. And the euro, one of the easiest shorts they are, but I don't trade it at all. And this is the British pound, it just keeps coming down really steep, steep incline here. And, uh, there's no there's no kind of support I'm not gonna put any kind of support or anything like that until the dollar starts to weaken and here's the dollar I'm still long the dollar just because we need to be and I like to close out the position like tomorrow just because I don't believe this 
So it'll keep ramping up like that. And the VIX, probably a good time to get into the VIX. I did put a buy on it. Thanks for watching. Happy trading. Be safe. Peace.